all ready for the day and before I get started with breakfast, this video has been brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one website platform that has been created to allow entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. It does not matter if you've just started your side hustle, you've just gotten the idea or you're managing a growing brand, Squarespace will be so useful to you. They make it super easy to create a beautiful website, engage with your audience and sell anything from content to products all in one place on your own terms. As someone who's juggling a lot of work tasks all at once, I personally love Squarespace's wide variety of website templates for you to choose from. It makes setting up your website so quick, so easy, so seamless. But one thing I am especially impressed by is that email templates. Email marketing is so important in order to get your business out there and in order to convert your audience into active customers for your business. And email marketing is a great way to do that, but it can be very tricky to get your head around and Squarespace makes it so easy for you. First of all, they have a whole blog page where they teach you how to use every single one of their features and gives you tips on how to improve your business. We love to see it. I personally hear a lot of talk about people wanting to set up their business or start a side hustle, but with Squarespace, what is your excuse, honey? Feel free to check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, you can come back to this video and click the link in the description, squarespace.com forward slash Tamcore Vlogs for 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Okay, let's make breakfast. I'm starting off with a protein shake since I went to the gym and also this just helps you keep follow with the other regular breakfast I have. I always use the bulk pea protein isolate unflavored protein powder. Does it taste the best? No, but whey protein has been known to trigger acne breakouts and it also has a bunch of extra ingredients that you just don't want in your body for good gut health. Plus, getting unflavored and getting pea protein means it's vegan. You're getting pure pea protein and no sugar or additives. And then I also put the smallest little teaspoon of MSM in my protein shakes and I make sure to have a teaspoon of this every single day, whether it's in a cup of water, a protein shake or a cup of tea. MSM has been known for its benefits in clearing acne and honestly, it's done the damn thing. And then on the side of that protein shake, I have my regular breakfast, which is Greek yogurt with chia seed pudding and fruit. I start off with this Greek yogurt with the full 5% fat because it's better for you. And I'll take about that much to just create the base of my bowl. As for the chia seed pudding, I always prep this the night before and let it rest in the fridge and then it will be ready. For the chia seed pudding, you want a little cup with a lid on it or a little container and you're simply going to pour two tablespoons of chia seeds into the cup and then top it with half a cup of your milk of choice. I personally use coconut milk and then you can add in your sweetener. A lot of people use maple syrup or honey. I personally use these bulk stevia drops in vanilla flavor. These are great and have a lot less sugar for you. So it's much better and I literally just do half a drop it in there mix it up you have to mix it up really well to make sure you get the right consistency leave it in the fridge overnight and you're good to go Chia seeds are a really good source of healthy fats and fiber, whereas the Greek yogurt is your source of protein. Chia seeds are also great at reducing inflammation, which is also the goal of this diet, to have clear skin and to have better gut health. And here we have the chia seed pudding. Take a really good bite and this is so yum because the chia seed pudding is vanilla flavor and then you have the sweetness from the fruit. Mmm. Now these three are just my essentials that I've been taking for a very long time. We have iron because I'm deficient in it. We have zinc because it's really good for the body. It's also really, really good for the skin. And then I also have a turmeric and ginger supplement because it helps lower inflammation within the body. And then the only other two supplements I take are literal lifesavers. I've been taking silica for a while. Now I am deficient in this, but it's been known to help clearer skin and also hair growth and nail growth. So this is a great one to take as opposed to to biotin which can actually contribute to worsened acne and then this baby she's new but I have been taking this for two months now insane now I found this on threads online where people said that they suffered for acne for years and years before they started taking this supplement and it changed the game it's called chromium picolinate and it's known to reduce your blood sugar now a lot of the time acne breakouts are caused by spikes in the blood sugar and then heightened inflammation in the body as well and this is gonna keep all of that at bay 
I'm gonna eat this yummy breakfast and then get on with my work for the day, so I'll meet you back here for lunch. For lunch, we are making my new go-to, which is chicken breast on top of a hot honey spicy slaw. So I'm starting off with four chicken breasts because I'm meal prepping, and then I top that with some all-purpose seasoning, salt, pepper, paprika, and then I also go in with some Nando's Peri Peri marinade sauce to give it that extra kick. Once that's all nice and mixed up, I lay it on a baking tray, and then I put this into my preheated oven at 100. 80 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes now it's time for the slaw dressing this is the best part of the entire recipe so in a blender you want to put lemon juice fresh basil jalapeno brine along with the jalapenos themselves and then you also want to add in either honey but i am using maple syrup some chopped garlic Greek yogurt because this is going to make it super creamy and refreshing. After that, you want to add in a whole avocado. This is where we're really sneaking in lots of goodness into this recipe. And then top it off with your seasonings. I just use black pepper, put the lid on, and then blend that for about two minutes, and it will make the most amazing dressing. Then all you have to do is chop up some cabbage, pour on top this blend, and then place your chicken on top, and it's the most amazing, hot, spicy, tangy, yet refreshing chicken salad for lunch. This is my super juicy chicken breast, which I'm just gonna slice one up and place on top of the slaw. Guys, this smells incredible. And then all I do after is sprinkle on top these pomegranate seeds and I drizzle it with this buffalo sauce. And that is lunch, how good. And then with every meal I eat, it's always with a big glass of water. The flavor in here, like the slaw and the sauce is so tangy and fresh and zesty, but the chicken is spicy and the pomegranate is so sweet. It's honestly just the best combination. Mm. It is now late afternoon and I'm gonna show you how to make my new go-to late afternoon snack. Now, I don't eat this every single day, but in those cases where it's not quite dinner time yet and I feel really hungry for some reason, maybe my body just needs to eat more, needs more energy, I'm gonna honor that, okay? One thing we're not gonna do around here is calorie count, restrict ourselves, or think that we're eating too much. If you're hungry, you get to eat more. And so this is what I make in those cases. This is a super easy, like it's gonna take two minutes to make, chocolate mousse but fully made with whole food ingredients and i can't wait to show you this because it's delicious so the ingredients are milk of choice i personally use coconut milk cacao powder super essential to get that chocolate flavor um your sweetener of choice i use the stevia vanilla drops a whole avocado which you are not going to be able to taste Greek yogurt because it's so filling and it's filled with protein. You could add matcha powder in this. I've actually added coffee into this recipe before and it's made like a tiramisu type pudding and it was so bomb. Just adding my whole avo in there. This plus the Greek yogurt makes it so filling. I add the milk just a little bit to get the right consistency and I eyeball all of these ingredients. A dropper of stevia, you could add honey or whatever sweetener you like. And then I always get most of my stuff from Bulk, I love the brand. Um, and then just one little scoop of cacao powder. And then you blend it up and you're gonna have the perfect chocolate mousse consistency and taste. Okay, we're all blended up. Just the perfect gooey, fluffy, and it's also just super creamy and airy. It literally tastes like store-bought chocolate pudding. I promise you this does not taste like avocado, it does not taste like anything healthy, but it's got so much goodness in it. And I think a lot of the time this, honestly, it's such a scam when people think that like your afternoon snack has to be a bag of crisps or sweets or chocolate or actual sugary pudding because it's just quick and it's easy. This is quick and it's easy, but the thing is when you eat processed snacks throughout your afternoon when you're trying to get that energy boost and fill yourself up, you're gonna be left even hungrier because you're not getting any real nutrients from eating that. You're gonna feel sluggish because of those processed ingredients and chemicals that you're consuming. And most of it is just sugar, but in here we snuck in some protein and some healthy fats. 
Now, I don't consume dairy because it can be a trigger to acne, but as you guys have seen, I do eat a lot of Greek yogurt. The reason for this is I found out through my research that your skin doesn't react to Greek yogurt in the way that it does all other dairy products such as cheese and milk. As I said, I don't eat this every single day. Sometimes mid-afternoon, I'll make myself a matcha at home. I very, very rarely drink coffee. If I do, it will be when I'm out and about and if a cafe doesn't sell matcha, just because coffee can wreak havoc on your skin, on your gut health, on your entire system. So I normally opt for matcha, but wasn't feeling it today. So I'm gonna finish this off and I'll see you guys back here for dinner. Welcome back. We are making the last meal of the day. I've got some quinoa boiling in a pot of water right here. And we're gonna be making my go-to dinner, which is salmon with quinoa, seaweed, and cucumber. Super easy and super delicious. It's like a Japanese fake away at home. You wanna cover your pot with a lid for quinoa. I personally don't measure the water or the quinoa. I eyeball it, so can't tell you much about that. Using this salmon, and I've already got my olive oil heated up on my pan. I'm actually popping in four salmon fillets to meal prep, chopping up about a half, and I like to do this lengthways. And that's our chopping done. Now as salmon is heated up, I have a very special trick on how you can remove the skin. Flip it on its side, and the skin will literally peel off in one piece. it up in the pan because then more of it gets seasoned final part of seasoning i will sprinkle on top some soy sauce while it's in the pan and a little teaspoon of white miso paste gives it the perfect flavor and now it's time to plate up with my quinoa obviously cooked a bit more than I'm gonna eat right now. We got the salmon. I don't really wait until it's cooked. I wait a little bit after until it gets slightly burnt. That's just how I like it. And so it's just super crispy. Get that protein in. Quinoa as well is a really good source of protein. Um, I used to have this dish with white rice, which has a really high glycemic index and can lead to inflammation. I'm not saying rice is bad for you. I think it's great to eat rice, it's filling. I'm not saying to cut out carbs. I'm just saying as someone who has suffered with acne a lot, limiting my white rice intake has helped a lot. Same with stuff like white bread and bread in general. That is normally something I'll eat when I go out. Try and make it look aesthetic. Please get with it. It's the nicest sauce and it really makes your meal taste like it's from a Japanese restaurant. So I drizzle that on top. And then the start of the show is sushi nori. So this is what they wrap sushi in. You can get this from any supermarket. And I have this on the side as a super healthy snack. I'll literally just tear it up. It's important not to do too much because this is a high source of iodine. With some light mayo to really make this taste like a sushi roll. Serve that up. Also, I just found out chopsticks actually encourage you to eat slower, um, which is really good for your digestion. And then along with my cucumber, I'm gonna put those in these meal prep containers that I got from Amazon. I got like 20 for like a really cheap price. Let's have the first bite together, shall we? Oh, this meal never gets old. Mmm. Every night after dinner, I have a magnesium supplement to get a good night's sleep and dandelion tea, which actually really, really helps with acne prone skin. And that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please comment down below. Let me know which recipe you are most likely to try. I would love to know. And also let me know if you want another part of this series. I love making them. I'm always trying out new healthy and fun recipes. Thank you for being here for yet another vlog and I will see you next Sunday for a new one. Bye.